Adeze's mother, her mother-in-law, and Adeze herself were stunned to witness a shocking scene unfold before their eyes. Adeze's husband, the man they had trusted to care for and cherish their beloved daughter and sister, was brazenly flaunting his infidelity in broad daylight, openly converting with another woman and displaying affection towards her. Unable to contain their shock and disbelief, they pulled over to confront him, their hearts heavy with a mixture of anger and sorrow. But instead of showing remorse for his actions, Adeze's husband lashed out with a venomous tirade, hurling blame and accusation at Adeze for daring to give birth and disrupt their sexual life. In a twisted display of gaslighting, he painted himself as the victim casting Adeze as the villain in their marital drama. He accused her of being the source of their marital woes, of denying him his rightful pleasure and freedom from the time of conception till now. He had never enjoyed sex and she wasn't even good at bed anymore. And with each word that fell from his lips, he drove a wedge deeper between himself and the woman who had once loved and supported him. Despite their attempt to reason with him, to make him see the gravity of his actions and the impact they were having on their family, he remained stubborn and unyielding, his ego refusing to acknowledge any faults or wrongdoing. And as he dismissed their concern with callous indifference, the women realized with a sinking heart that their hopes for reconciliation was nothing more than a distant dream. In the face of such blatant betrayal, Adeze's mother, his mother-in-law, and Adeze herself found themselves at a loss for word. In a chilling display of arrogance and entitlement, Adeze's husband delivered his ultimatum with a callousness that cut to the core of their beings. He cast aside any symbionts of decency or respect, demanding that the woman who had dared to question his authority leave his presence immediately. As he spewed forth his venomous words, his mistress stood by his side, a silent witness to his tyranny and a willing accomplice to his deceit. Her presence served as a bitter reminder of the depth of which he had sunk, the length to which he was willing to go to satisfy his insatiable appetite. At this moment, Adeze resolved in her heart and declared with a solemn finality she could endure the insult, the manipulation, the emotional abuse, but the betrayer of infidelity was a line she could not cross. With tears streaming down her face, Adeze knew that the time had come to make a difficult decision. In a desperate bid for clarity and guidance, they reached out to the therapist once more, seeking solace and understanding. With compassion and empathy, the therapist gently explained the harsh reality of Adeze's husband's narcissistic tendencies. He emphasized that infidelity was a common threat among narcissists, driven by their insatiable need for validation and admiration from others. And though it pained him to say, he cautioned them that Adeze's husband was unlikely to change, regardless of their efforts to reason with him or appeal to his bitter nature. In the face of such grim truth, Adeze's resolve solidified once more. With a strength born of desperation and determination, she declared that she could no longer bear to remain in a marriage tainted by deceit and betrayal. She knew that she deserved better, that she deserved to be loved and cherished for who she truly is, not as a mere pound in her husband's twisted game of manipulation. But as the weight of her decision settled upon her, Adeze's body could no longer bear the strain. Overwhelmed by the stress and anguish of her ordeal, she collapsed into unconsciousness, her fragile spirit broken by the weight of her husband's cruelty. Rushing to her side, her mother and her mother-in-law cuddled her lame form in their arms, their hearts breaking with each shallow breath she took. And as they carried her to the hospital, their minds filled with fear and uncertainty as her dazed well-being hung in the balance. 
As her dizzy's unconscious form lays in the hospital bed, her loved ones gathered around her, their hearts heavy with guilt and fear. The doctor's word pierced through the air like a dagger, his anger flaring as he chastised them for their role in Adeze's deteriorating condition. With tears streaming down their faces, Adeze's mother, her mother-in-law, and the therapist hung their head in shame, knowing that their actions, however well-intentioned, had only served to exacerbate Adeze's suffering. They had pushed her to the brink. Their attempts to confront her husband only added to the mountain stress and anxiety that threatens to consume her fragile spirit. The doctor warns and explains to them what postpartum depression and anxiety is and how it can affect her. Postpartum depression and anxiety are mental health disorder that can affect a woman after childbirth. They often arise due to a combination of hormonal changes, genetic predisposition, and various psychosocial factors. Why postpartum depression is more commonly known, postpartum anxiety is also prevalent and can occur alongside or independently of depression. Postpartum depression is characterized by feelings of extreme sadness, hopelessness, and inadequacy. Women experiencing postpartum depression may feel overwhelmed by their new responsibilities as mothers and struggle to bond with their babies. They may also experience changes in appetite and sleep patterns, as well as difficulty concentrating on making decisions. In severe cases, thoughts of self-harm or harming the baby may occur. Postpartum anxiety, on the other hand, involves excessive worry or fear about the well-being of the baby, oneself or other family members. Women with postpartum anxiety may experience constant intrusive thoughts or fears about something bad happening to the baby, even if there is no evidence to support these fears. They may also have physical symptoms such as dizziness, heart palpitations or shortness of breath if left untreated. They can interfere with a woman's ability to care for herself and her baby, strain relationships with loved ones and negatively impact her overall well-being. In severe cases, they can even lead to thoughts of suicide or self-harm. Given Adeze's recent collapse, and the stress she has faced in her marriage, including her husband's infidelity and narcissistic behavior, she may be at the increased risk for developing postpartum depression and anxiety. It is essential for her support system, including her family and healthcare providers, to provide her with the necessary support and resources to address these mental health challenges and ensure her well-being and recovery. After the doctor's explanation, Adeze's mother decided to help and save her daughter. Her mother-in-law supported her because Adeze is also a human being and another person's precious child. Together, they rallied around Adeze, united in their mission to protect her well-being and reclaim her dignity. With Adeze discharged from the hospital, her mother wasted no time in taking action. She gathered Adeze's belongings, silently packing away the remnants of a life she had once cherished, but now found herself desperate to escape. And when her husband returned home, she faced him with a courage born of maternal instincts and unwavering love. In a quiet yet firm voice, Adeze's mother delivered the news that would change their lives forever. She told him that the marriage was over, that they would no longer subject Adeze to the torment and abuse that had become the hallmark of their union. And as she stood before him, she dared him to defy her, to challenge her authority as the guardian of her daughter's happiness. But instead of pleading for her forgiveness or fighting to salvage their crumbling marriage, Adeze's husband's response was as callous as it was expected. He greeted the news of their impending divorce with a smack of satisfaction. 
his lips coiling into a snare of contempt as he was overjoyed in the prospect of freedom from the burden of commitment and fidelity. With a heart heavy with sorrow yet brimming with defiance, Adese's mother stood her ground, her resolve unshaken by his indifference. She knew that their decision to end the marriage was the right one, that it was the only way to free Adese from the chains of oppression and allow her to reclaim her freedom. The therapist, understanding the gravity of the situation and the need for healing, gently guided Adese, her mother and her mother-in-law towards a path of recovery. He emphasized the importance of seeking professional support through the therapist section, providing a safe space for them to process their emotions and heal from the wounds of the past. In addition to the therapist, the therapist encouraged them to surround Adese with love and support, nurturing her spirit and helping her rediscover the joy and passion that had been overshadowed by the darkness of her marriage. He suggested engaging in activities that brought her happiness and fulfillment, as well as exploring places that sparked her curiosity and sense of adventure any hobbies or interests that brought her joy. Turning to Adese, her mother and mother-in-law asked her if there was anything she loved doing. They wanted to reconnect with the vibrant, spirited woman they knew lay buried beneath the weight of her husband's cruelty and manipulation. With a tentative smile, Adese thought for a moment before sharing her deepest desire. She spoke of her love for painting, the way the strokes of colors brought a sense of peace and tranquility to her troubled mind. She longed to immerse herself in the world of art once more, to lose herself in the creative process and find solace in the beauty of self-expression. As they listened to her words, her mother and mother-in-law felt a surge of hope swelled within their hearts. They knew that with each brush strokes, each splash of colors on the canvas, Adese will find a measure of healing and renewal, reclaiming her sense of identity and purpose. With a plan in place and a newfound sense of determination guiding their step, Adese, her mother and her mother-in-law embarked on a journey of healing and self-discovery. Adese's journey of self-discovery and healing took her down unexpected paths, each step bringing her closer to reclaiming the happiness and fulfillment that had eluded her for so long. With the support of her loving mother and mother-in-law, she embarked on a new chapter of her life, determined to turn her pain into purpose and her suffering into strength. Returning to school to pursue further education in painting was a decision born of both passion and necessity. It allowed Adese to reignite her creative spark, immersing herself in the world of art and finding solace in the act of self-expression. As she delved deeper into her studies, she discovered a new sense of purpose, using her artistic talent to shed light on the insidious nature of narcissism and its impact on individuals and communities. Opening her own gallery was a bold move, a testament to Adese's resilience and determination to carve out a space for herself in a world that had once sought to diminish her. Through her painting, she sought to educate and empower others, using art as a medium for social change and awareness. Her gallery became a beacon of hope and inspiration, a sanctuary where individuals could gather to explore and engage with the complexity of human experience. Meanwhile, her husband, who can no longer find someone as submissive as her daisy, come back shedding crocodile tears, begging her to return, and that he is a changed man. A daisy stood her ground in the face of her husband's fearful pleas and empty promises. She has spent far too long trapped in the suffocating grip of his narcissistic tyranny and she refused to allow herself or her children to be subjected to any more of his manipulation and abuse. Though his word may have stirred a flaking of sympathy within her, 
Adeze knew all too well the true nature of her husband's condition. She had seen the depth of his narcissism, witnessed firsthand the way he wielded his charm and charisma, and she knew that no amount of crocodile tears or false remorse could erase the years of pain and suffering he had inflicted upon her and their family to mask his cruelty and deceit. With a firm yet compassionate tone, Adeze spoke her truth, refusing to sugarcoat the harsh reality of their situation. She told her husband that she was not his cure, that his journey toward healing and redemption led within himself. She urged him to seek help, to confront the demons that plugged his soul, and to strive toward becoming the man he was meant to be. But she made it clear that she would no longer be a pawn in his twisted game of manipulation and control. She had found her strength, her voice and her independence. And though her heart may have ached for the man she once loved, she knew that her loyalty now lays with herself and her children. Their well-being and happiness, her highest priority. As her husband stood before her, his eyes filled with sorrow and regret. Adeze held her head high, her spirit unbroken by his attempt to break her resolve. And with a final farewell, she turned her back on the past, ready to embrace the future with courage, resilience, and an unwavering determination to live life on her own terms.